So you're thinking about setting up a Discord server or maybe you've already got a Discord server, but you're not quite sure what channels to add, what bots to add, what integrations, what types of things to do to make your Discord server a really highly engaging, high growth Discord server. Well, don't worry, I've got you. In this video, we're going to be covering all of those different things. I'm going to be giving you some best practice advice for Discord. I've done something like 20 or 25 different Discord videos on the channel so far. It's been a big part of my content and I've learned a few things along the way. My Discord server is a pretty decent sized Discord server and I've not even really promoted it all that much. Feel free to join the Discord server in the link in the description below if you want to. So in this video, I'm going to be covering bots. I'm going to be covering integrations, different channels and some basics, rules, regulations of things you need to do to make the best Discord server into 2022 and beyond. Maybe you're a Twitch streamer or a YouTube gaming streamer. Maybe you have a Patreon or maybe there's something else that you do as a creator and you just want to have a space where you can communicate with with your community on a Discord server. This is the video for you. You're definitely gonna find this enjoyable. And if you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to, and yeah, let's go. Thanks to our sponsor for today's video, Owned.TV. On Owned.TV, you can gain access to all kinds of amazing resources for streamers. If you're a content creator or a streamer, you'll find Owned.TV really, really useful for creating all kinds of different things like stream overlays, along with things like stinger designs, banner makers for your social media, and even stream deck icons that are static and animated. There is loads of stuff here from Owned.TV. And the best part about it, with Code Machine, you get 50% off at checkout and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. So first, let's talk about some Discord server basics. These are things that you almost just need to kind of get right from the start and these are not specific to any channel or any one bot or engagement tool. These are just general things to think about when you're setting up your Discord server or when you're trying to promote your Discord server and make the best of it. First of all, your Discord server needs to be welcoming, it needs to be friendly and it needs to be as engaging as possible. The idea is you want to get people into the server entice them in and keep them there. It needs to be a friendly place where people enjoy hanging out, enjoy posting content, enjoy getting involved in your community. Your Discord server needs to have a really good rule set. It needs to be really clear that you are setting an example on your Discord server. As the Discord server owner, you need to make sure that there is no racism in your server. You need to make sure that there's no homophobia, transphobia, and that there's no abusive behaviors that happen in your Discord server. And you need to take a zero tolerance approach on that. And you also need to be clear about that when people join the server that there is not a space for that type of activity to happen. You need to make sure that your server is really well moderated. Obviously, you can moderate it yourself if you've got time to do that, but also some trusted friends or maybe some trusted people from your Twitch, YouTube gaming community would help you moderate that with certain roles and so on and so forth. Next up, and this is quite an important one, there needs to be a clear reason for your Discord server. The best Discord servers are Discord servers that have a really, really clear purpose. You don't want to have one same Discord server for about 10 different things that you're trying to achieve. If you have, for example, a Rust community, you don't want to then have a completely separate thing that's happening in your Rust server community that's not even remotely related to Rust. The best thing to do would be to have a separate Discord server if you're doing something completely different. Also, if your content is the sort of content that helps people in some way, that could be one of the purposes of your server. It doesn't mean to say that there needs to be just a single purpose, but just make sure that the purpose or purposes are clear from your server. Let's talk a little bit about how many channels you should have in your Discord server. Lots of people have debated this. There's no real right answer to this. If you need to add more channels to your Discord server, you can do that. But people don't generally like seeing thousands of different channels when they join a Discord server because it can be a little bit overwhelming, a bit overpowering and can put them off. And sometimes people leave because of that simple fact. So my advice here would be make channels that make sense for you and your community, channels that are being engaged in. And if you make channels and they don't work and people are not using them, just delete them. Don't hold on to channels just for the sake of it. Me, for example, I've had loads of different channels on my Discord server, some that have worked really, really well, so I've kept them and they've been a really important part of my community. For example, game screenshots, suggestions, all kinds of different ideas which we'll discuss in this video. But then there's been other channels that just haven't worked. They've not been engaged and people haven't used them, in which case I've just deleted them just to remove some of that clutter. The important thing to remember with your Discord server is it's never really one of those things that's just done when you do it. There's all kinds of different developments that happen with Discord servers. You can always do something new. 
you can always change things up and people like to see different things happening so don't be afraid of changing things up in your own discord server and there are literally thousands of ways that you can do that and we'll be covering some of those in this video we're now going to talk about the best bots to add to your discord server this is not an extensive list it's just a short list of bots that i've had some good experience with there are loads of different bots out there so i'll probably miss some really important ones but these are just the ones that i've used before and that i've found really useful for my server and i'll show you also when i go through these different bots i think there's about five in total i'll show you how i've used them and what i've used from each and again for some of these i've got discord server tutorials as well so if any of these things are of interest to you just browse through my playlist or the links in the description below first up it's an age-old favorite me six bot there's a reason why it's one of or the most important on discord i use this for loads of different things on every server that i've ever made i use it for welcomes and custom commands i use it for searches i use it for recording and help utilities i also use it for my social connections for example whenever i go live on twitch it will post to my discord whenever i tweet whenever i do a youtube video and there's a few other little things you can do as well like levels i use it for and even music there's also some other stuff that they've added to that i've not checked out but yeah embeds timers statistics all kinds of different things you can do here but we'll be covering some of these things with other bots because they're just the things that I've, I've had experience with next up we've got yag pdb bot this is again one of the most common bots out there apparently it's on 2.3 million servers already so the things that i use yag pdb for are mainly stuff to do with twitch integrations for example if someone goes live on twitch there is a live role that uses yag pdb again check out the link in the description below if you want to know how to create a going live role and add it to people automatically when they go live on twitch so i use the role commands and i also use the streaming tab here but there's loads of other things that you can use yag pdb for for example auto roles and some of the things that cross over with the me6 bot as well next Next up, we've got server stats bot. Now, this is one of the most popular bots on Twitch as well. This is for adding stats about your server visible for everyone in your server. I've done a really, really popular video about this. This video is currently getting like two or 300 views per day on my channel. And also, I think the people that have done competing videos for that have done a really bad job of explaining how to install the server stats bot. But this is a really good tool. All it does is just show some statistics about what's going on in your server. I'm choosing here to show members and mods, but there's a load of different other stats that you can show instead of those statistics simple to set up really easy just creates a little bit of extra engagement next up we've got the embedinator bot it does kind of exactly what it says on the tin this is great for making custom discord embeds but you're able to quickly do it just from within your discord server you don't have to go for, through the web hooking process or visit a third party website you do have to install the bot first again i've got a tutorial on how to do this i'll link a card above and again in the description below but this is just a really simple straightforward tool that allows custom embeds to be created great for things like giveaways or announcements or news and things like that here's an example of a giveaway that i did in the summer for a microphone you can literally customize every single element of this embed and it only takes a minute or two to set up next up it's not actually a bot that we're installing on discord this is actually mercury from stream elements mercury from stream elements allows you to use information about your discord server within the descriptions of your youtube videos and it can automatically update that information so if you're a YouTuber, you can literally add the latest member to have joined your Discord server as part of your description of every single video, and that'll auto-update. It's not a bot, so it's a little bit cheating here, but I just wanted to alert people's attention to Mercury from Stream Elements because I've not seen this tool or even a tool similar to it anywhere else, and why wouldn't you want to promote both of your Discord and also latest members in the descriptions of your videos if you could do that? Again, I've got a tutorial on this as well, so feel free to check that out. Next up, we're going to talk about some channels that you can add to your Discord server just to make your whole Discord server a lot more engaging. I think most of the people tuning into this video are probably going to be tuning in for this purpose. Now, this isn't an extensive list. Again, these are just the ones that I've found work for me over a long period of time and have created a lot of engagement and some growth for my Discord server. But also, it serves another purpose, which I found to be really, really useful. Whilst I'm streaming on Twitch, people will post stuff in the various channels that I'm going to discuss today right now and it creates some actual content and a deeper level of live engagement with your viewers. Also, I'm really keen to know what channels work for you guys as well because obviously I'm always looking for new ideas for my own Discord server. So if I've missed any really cool or interesting channels out, please feel free to let me know in the comments below what works for you and what doesn't. I've chosen to separate some of my channels with these categories here and you can roll up the categories by clicking on them. I've chosen to set up categories called 
to chat and feedback and anything to do with chatting and any kind of feedback and ideas is all kept within this section here. And then I've got content based stuff under this category here. And these are some of the things I've got. So I've got clips, I've got gaming screenshots. So any types of different games. I stream a lot of different variety games on my Twitch. You get all kinds of different variety in here. But if you have a niche for a particular game, you could perhaps have game specific content here. What I would say here is if you're a variety streamer and you genuinely stream a lot of different games, don't have a channel for every single game you stream. That doesn't make any sense. You'll soon find that you'll just have too many channels. Whereas if you are a speciality streamer for a niche game or a couple of different games, it's worthwhile setting up channels for those games. If you've got a highly engaged community for those specific games. I've got memes and bad jokes. I've got food brag. So it's just people posting the food that they have. Uh, art and photography works really, really well. Now, the reason why I've called it art and photography is because there's all kinds of different art that I've found people post on here. Sometimes it's to do with music. Sometimes it's pixel art. Sometimes it's drawings. It's all kinds of different artwork that I get on this here. But then I also have a more generic hobbies one where people have been posting things like model building and all kinds of weird stuff like that, including things like airsoft as well. I do have a channel for clips, but this includes anyone's clips. This isn't just clips from my channel. That's just a flavor of some of the content channels that have worked for me. What I've also added is social media stuff here as well. I've got specifically one for my tweets. I've got latest YouTube videos, which means everyone will get a notification whenever I get a new video out. And then I've also got other just general social links listed here. I used to have a separate channel for every social media platform, but I realized there's probably no point in having them. So I created a social media embed here. It's really nice and clean and people can just click on any of these links if they're interested in any of those social links. And it uses the Embedinator bot that I talked about earlier on in the video. As you can see, it looks super clean and doesn't take up too much space in terms of the number of channels. It's just a single channel for the social links. Finally, and this probably comes back to my purpose, I do a lot of educational videos for streamers and content creators. So for me, we've got Ask a Machine and we've got resources. Any Discord that adds value to the community is going to generally do pretty well. So here I've got a load of different resources that can, people can tap into, whether it's money off or ideas or different tutorials and stuff like that, or even things where people can specifically ask for help if they want to raise almost like a manual ticket for me or one of my mods or one of my helpers here to come and help you out with something that you may be experiencing on your stream. Other ideas that I've got as well, which I've not actually got set up on my server, but it might just give you some flavor, some like ideas to think about. You may want to set up things for skins in game and discord discussions about different game mods and stuff like that. You may have different game servers. So you may have a channel that specifically lists different game servers that you've got available or newly refreshed game servers, for example, with Rust after a new wipe or whatever. Anything to do with music is always going to be pretty cool as well, but also things like self promo does do pretty well. Now, what I've done with self promo is I've used, I think it's YagPDB to have an auto message that appears every time someone goes live if they They've got their account connected to Twitch and they're on Discord. And it also gives them this live now roll whenever they go live. So it auto posts to the self promo channel and it creates the go live. I'll link that on the card above. I'll link it in the description if you want to know how to do that. But it's just another cool thing. Obviously, people can manually self promo in here for certain things as well. Me personally, I don't like other people to promote their own discords in my discord. But in terms of streams and videos and things like that, I really don't mind when people do self promo. But some people don't like self promotion, in which case just make sure you leave off the self promo. I've also got this level up channel here. And I think this uses the me six spot and this just basically messages whenever someone's leveled up and it gives you a flavor of who in your server are the most active people. Next up, I'm just going to talk about some more general things that you can do on your discord server to increase the engagement and just generally how good your discord server will be. These are just things that you can set up quite easily that can make a big difference to the experience that somebody has within your community when they join your discord server. First up, I mentioned server rules earlier. Earlier, there are different ways that you can do the server rules. I've chosen to have like a message that's pinned and people have to roll react to this to be able to open up the rest of the servers. That just means that people only see the welcome 
message here and the server rules when they first join but as soon as they acknowledge the rules they will get the verified user message and it will open up the rest of these channels here doing something like that is pretty cool but there are also different ways that you can add rules as well for example you can have the rules pane which is something that discord's recently set up where there'll be a panel that appears here i'll be doing a future video on how to set up the rules pane within discord so stay tuned for that one i've chosen to have also a news tab here anything that's really not something you could put in a particular category but it's something that's noteworthy or interesting or maybe it's something that's quite important. For example, something about your schedule or whatever. For me, I also auto post through Me6 when I'm going live here. But if I'm running late, let's see if we can find one somewhere. Hopefully there'll be one that says I'm running late or whatever. Just having one place where you can put more generic news and information is really useful because people then know when that server has a message within it, that they're more likely to check it out and not actually mute that particular channel. Voice messages. If you're a streamer, you may want to have like a drag channel, which means people can openly jump in and chat in, but you don't use that one you can have one that's locked and you actually have to drag people up into your locked voice channel that just means that you can't have any old person jump into your voice channel whilst you're streaming obviously you can sometimes get trolls and things like that and i've never had any problems with voice trolls on twitch because i've always had people jump into drag and then i drag them up into the man cave here and they are only people that i know are not going to be trolling i've also got a commands channel here where people can set up different commands and check out different commands that i've got some of these are auto commands from different bots that i've got and so on people can check their rank and all kinds of different things like that now i don't actually use commands as much as i probably should on my server but it's just to say that having a clear place to put those commands so that people know what they can do on your server is something that you can very easily set up on your own discord server next up we're just going to talk about some discord integrations and some other best practices that you should apply to your discord server now i haven't actually used that many integrations i tend to use bots rather than integrations i'm going to mention integrations because there's just so much that you can do with integrations and i'm going to give you a little flavor of the different things you can do here there's some really cool integrations that i've come across over the period of that i've been streaming as well one really good example of an integration that i really like is pulsoid app which is a heart rate monitoring app and what you do is you wear the heart rate monitor and you can display your heart rate on stream if you're interested in doing that i'll link the video on how you can set that up it's a, an old video so you may find that interesting but pulsoid have recently done an integration whereby whenever the heart rate goes up to a certain level it will take a clip on Twitch and then auto post it to your Discord. And I just thought that was a really cool integration. Completely hands off once it's set up, but it will auto post if there's something that raises your heart to a certain level. I just thought those types of integrations are so cool. But there are all sorts of other integrations available. For example, game statistics or content specific integrations that you can do. If you just do a search, then you'll find exactly what you need. But I just wanted to list some of these off so that you get a feel for what is out there. Finally, I just wanted to talk a little bit about themes and roles and permissions for your community as well this isn't really a big part of the video but it's just to bear in mind that if you've just got generic roles within your discord maybe think about theming some of your discord roles in terms of the the colors that you apply in terms of the names and even emotes and things like that it may not seem like it but brightening up and theming your discord can make a really big difference on how much someone enjoys your discord for example i've got a role called stream director it means that each month somebody in in particular gets nominated as the stream director can have a heavy influence over what I do on my stream on Twitch. So I've themed this by giving it a little devil icon here and I've made it red. So the color of this is a red color and they've got fairly high permissions as well so they can even influence what's going on in the Discord server. You can also easily integrate the subscribers from your channel as well. I've got a video about how you can set this up and I think it uses either Me6 or YagPDB. This just means that whenever someone subscribes to you on Twitch, it will automatically give them a role which is really really cool because then you can also have a themed set of channels specifically for it subscribers so this is like exclusive content that your subscribers can access i'm not going to click on any of these channels because they are exclusive to my subscribers and i don't want to reveal them in this youtube video suffice to say people can submit different emotes and we add them to the channel there's sub only chat and then there's some information about sub only as well it's just a really cool way of adding extra value to your stream but also your discord by having exclusive content and it just ties in a little bit with the theming as well so there we go that was the best discord server for 2022 and beyond hopefully you found this really useful if you did hit the like button feel free to subscribe to the channel enjoy your day